Hey, hi all. Welcome back to Bayer Knowledge Center. In this session, we'll talk about how to create a parent class reference using shape class instance. So looking at this works concept or uh, classes and uh, no kind of uh, uh, programming program paradigms, if you want to access any class properties or methods, so you have to uh, create an instance and then you have to access those properties and methods. But when I want to you know, access the parent class uh, members and methods, right? even if it is private, how I'm going to achieve by just using a child class reference. That means I just need to create a parent instance, right? Using a child class instance, right? That is like I have a, a parent class, right? And I have a child class. These are the two classes. And basically it is having some uh, P1, right? And P2 are the parameter, I mean, uh, properties, right? And anyway, it is having, right, the uh, constructor, which is basically with the name parent. Now, in a similar way, I have, I have uh, you know, uh, some of the variables here, right, in I and J. And this is also having constructor with the same name. So the thing is, right, I wanted to, you know, along with that, I have a method, right? Um, I can see a uh, test method one, right? Right which will have some definition inside of it. And this is also having one more method called test method two. So now I want to, uh, you know, uh, run this, right? And uh, create a class for instance for child. And with that, I'm going to access a parent class. So firstly, I need to, you know, uh, inherit this with the parent so that it is deriving all the properties into here, right? So using child instance, you can access it. That is what how the default uh, things or process is working as what of hopes. But I wanted to create a reference to a parent, right? Suppose when I say like this is something private int, right? When I say this is something private uh, int p2, I cannot access these variables even I inherit it into a child class because private is not going to inherit into a derived class. Got it. But I want to still access, right? Just using a child class. That means I want to create a parent class reference using a child class instance. Let's see that. Okay. Just going back here, right? I'm just defining my uh, parent class, right? And inside of that, right? I'm going to uh, declare just a, no, no, a constructor this time, public parent, right? Instead of this, I'm just saying console dot right line of parent constructor invoke. Got it? So similarly, I'll write another method here, right? Y, right? Test method one, right? Test method one invoke from a parent. Right. Similarly, I have another class called the child, right, which is basically derived from a parent, right. And this is the constructor of child, right. This is the message I'm writing as part of child constructor, right. And again, this is what the another method, right, I have as test method too, right. Let me correct this. Right. So now I want to you know create instance to the parent using the child class reference. How to do that? Let me if I create an instance right of obj1 equal to new parent of obj1, then I'm going to access right my test method one and other stuff. Got it? But I want to create right. Let me come creating parent class reference using child class instance. So how we achieve this is just parent obj one of new of a child. The simple straightforward. Now, when I say obj one dot test method one, right? This is going to invoke parent class method, right? Is it true? Right, 
So when I say child obj2, right? obj2 equal to new child, right? obj2 dot test method one, I can see that. obj2 dot test method two, I can access because these are derived to a child class, hence I can access it. That's fine up to that, right? But I want to create, like if you look at here, I have a, a private member string name. And when I say like obj2, I didn't get that property, right? Because I'm not having that access here. Only with the parent, right? I can access it, right? obj1 dot name. Still I cannot have it because this is something which is not inheritable in the child. I'm creating instance to a parent using child. It cannot be. But still I can access a couple of you know, methods and properties of a parent with the help of this child instance. This is the syntax of creating a parent class reference using child class reference. So if you can just run this, first it will invoke the parent class constructor and then child class constructor and then test method one and again parent and child test method one and test method two. This is going to call a parent class constructor and hence if it is a child, again it is invoking child class constructor and then test method one is invoked and if you are coming here, this is going to invoke a parent class constructor, child class constructor because it is derived from parent, both constructors are going to invoke and test method one is invoked, test method two is invoked, right? This is how you are going to, you know, create instance to your, right, uh, you know, the parent class using child class instance, right? Now, uh, other thing is, right, I want to create, right, uh, I want to create that. I want to create instance to chain. So this is something creating a parent class reference, right? Creating parent class reference using chain class. Now, right, I want to create, I right? think creating, right, chain class reference by using, right, parent class instance. How to do that? This is a reverse of the first one. Okay, right. Going back to your, you know, the uh, program here. Let me see. I'm just trying to create, right? Child class instance this, this time. Thing is, I'm going to create a child class reference using parent class instance. If you look at here, right? Let me comment this stuff. So I think you already uh, go through, gone through the right. You understood what is what obj, right? Right, so we have created this way, right? Uh, new of a child. This is how we have achieved the first part, right? This thing, okay. And using this parent object, right? I'm going to create child object equal to not new. I'm just going to just assign obj. This is what creating of a child class using a parent. But it is throwing an exception conversion. To remove that, we have to cast that using child class. This is how it is going to create a child class instance. Now you can access method one because I'm accessing child and method two because I already derived from parent class. This is how it is going to start working, right? So the step is you have to create a parent object and then you have to cast the parent object and assign it to child. That's how it is going to create child class for reference. Okay. So I hope you understood like you know how to create parent class instance using child class instance and again creating a child class reference by using parent class. Okay. Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.